Hey everyone, this is a new video about how to install latest NPU drivers for your Ryzen CPU which has XDNA based NPU. So currently I'm using a Hawkpoint based laptop from Lenovo. It's a ThinkPad P14S Gen 5. So it has 8840HS. So the latest driver is 1.3 and it fixes a few of the things such as green artifacts on Zoom. When studio effects are turned on, similarly it supports uh, the Phoenix Point, the 7000 Zen 4 series, Hawk Point and other latest Strix Point or Zen 5 based uh, CPUs with XDNA2 based uh, NPUs. So this is the driver link. Currently at the moment uh, AMD has not opened it for end users and you will have to use a developer account. Uh, you just have to register or sign up using your work email or something or even personal email works uh, you just have to give the intention that you're using it for software development or some ai based things for marketing or something like that and you'll get your download link so this is how the file will be it is around 52 mb so this includes only the NPU drivers and Ryzen AI RT is for running AI models on your NPU so it requires Anaconda to be installed um, at the moment I don't have Anaconda installed um, I will try it uh, if uh, there's uh, some demand on how to run it on your AMD Ryzen based XDNA for getting a better and power efficient AI exploration. So at the moment I won't be covering that. So I'll just um, give you a basic hint on what it is. So I'll just unpack it. So make sure you run this NPU software installer as admin. Otherwise uh, nothing gets uh, installed. So I'll just uh, show you how. So AMD GPU driver includes uh, NPU driver, but it is not compatible with the OEM models. So usually you see the name is uh, correct. So it has the same name, KIPU driver.inf but it lacks the device ID which is needed to get it working with your ASUS Lenovo ThinkPad that is uh, currently what I'm using so yeah so once you have it installed make sure you also install reinstall or uh, uninstall the MEP opt-in driver so that will actually force the camera to use the NPU uh, to render better image and video quality on your Zoom, Teams or any uh, video clients uh, what you are using so that you have all the studio effects and other uh, ASUS or Lenovo or any uh, HP or Dell based uh, uh, AI that uses the NPU. So you might, um, in case if you want to test it, how it works, you just have to go to Windows, go to System32, go to AMD, there is a utility available, XRT SMI.
uh, this does not require admin uh, permission so you can just uh, run it directly so these are the available commands configure examine validate you can even set the power mode i just kept it as uh, the default power mode so i didn't see any uh, massive uh, power draw when it's on ac as well as on uh, battery so you'll see the npu being used when i run the validate command so the gpu uh, not the gpu the ram is shared between the gpu npu and all the other things so it works similar to an uh, soc uh, but uh, if it was a soldered ram uh, which i didn't like so i just went with the p series uh, so that i get the upgradable ram slots um, i think uh, the trade off is great i just uh, personally upgraded it right from 16 to 32 and will be upgrading it to 64 i think at uh, the max uh, ram configuration is around is around 96 uh, if i use a dual uh, 48 gb ram slot uh, i mean ram uh, stick from crucial i guess uh, i don't know if samsung makes one so at the moment i'm using crucial 16 uh, 16 gb sticks so by default lenovo assigns uh, 4 gb uh, as uh, gpu memory uh, you can increase it up to 8 gb if you have a uh, 64 or 48 or 96 gb of memory uh, uh, so that you get uh, maximum vram for your power efficient gaming at uh, below 20 watts or something so i think uh, the test is done well that's it for this video i hope uh, this was helpful uh, in getting the npu worked up and running without any issue uh, i did struggle a bit um, initially to get uh, the npu driver installed and get all the ai effects working so i hope this helps everyone thank you bye